Guys, we did it. So on an update today, obviously the biggest news is that we funded, well bam, we're so excited by all the uh, feedback we've had and all the input, it's been really, really good. And just to be clear for some of the people who aren't reading, what we did is exactly what we set out to do, which was to set the communication channel for Abbeycraft, which is a way to sort of uh, get the input and the feedback from the fans. It was, a, it was specifically designed around funding that. You guys bought that, it's awesome. That means that we've got this new way um, to go forward as we're building the main adventure game for, uh, for communication, for leaking out information. It's gonna be really great. But of course, we have not, nor did we intend to, fund the adventure game. Now that said, with the first goal behind us, now really it's wide open. Um, and so for the lot of people who've been asking, hey, can I participate in funding the adventure game? Really that's where we are now. We have never intended for Kickstarter to be where we got our funding for that game. However, every dollar that we raise here, of course, means that we don't have to raise it somewhere else. It makes the game faster, it makes the game uh, better, and it gives us expansions. So really, please don't, uh, don't feel uh, excluded. Obviously, anything that we can raise here will be awesome. But it also explains why the jump, some people have noted that the jump from the original 11,000K goal to right now, for example, the expansion pack for the Trader's Den is 85K. That's a big jump. But the reason is really simple, is that we've gone from a very limited product opening it up to the much wider product. And if folks want to participate in that, that's where we're headed. Um, I realize it's a big leap and some people have considered doing a second Kickstarter. Maybe, probably not, um, but it's, a, it's an opportunity for the folks. Um, but we think that the expansion pack is a good place to start here. Uh, first with the gatehouse, second with the, uh, with the trader's den. So those would be great places. And if it just goes nuts, we've got more places that we can improve the adventure game um, through Kickstarter funds. So that's what we've done, huge news, and what we have continued to do is just really exciting. So um, typically we know that there's a big bop, when a big uh, traffic bump when people get for, to their funding level. We definitely saw that. And also um, typically Kickstarters have another ramp towards the end. So I'm very anxious to see where this thing goes, plus as we open up uh, additional artwork and we start talking about the adventure game, which you're gonna see here. But people are gonna ask, this is not final art, this is a test. Um, that said, it's beautiful, and we're really happy about what we're able to get out of this engine. Um, what you see here is something that we've done. Uh, it is using the Unity 3D engine, um, and we are specifically using this as a place for some lighting and some texture testing. Um, we want the lighting in Red Wall, we think, to be a core, uh, a core feature. So things like light and shadows, um, especially any place that we can use dynamic lighting. There's going to be a lot of gobies. Um, places like that where we can really show off um, uh, using, using uh, the, the texture to be a, um, a tool where we can uh, convey some mood, um, that kind of thing, where we wanted to make sure that we can really stress um, colors and shadows and, uh, and overlays inside the app. Um, this, uh, we want to be able to be able to push, one, we need two things. We need to be able to push sort of the graphics capabilities on uh, higher end systems, uh, but at the same time they need to be scalable so that uh, without too much degradation we can also play on a mobile device. So trying to find the sweet spot between those two things um, is, a, is a big deal. We've used Unity 3D for, uh, for several years um, and we've done it on, oh I don't know, I could probably say about 50 different apps. Um, and they range from high poly to low. Um, they, uh, they use a wide variety of uh, textures, uh, and both, both in the, the depth and how they come together. I think that with Unity, what we like about it is uh, the flexibility to multiple platforms. That's been a really strong thing for us in the past, is how many, uh, the, the ability to build once and deploy many times is a big deal. So um, we wanna be able to do that. Thank you.